So while God has always done all the work, he has also always invited us to join the work that he has done. Two he is. He does the work and then he says, come join me here. See, this is the combination of, the, of, of two of the first three realities of experiencing God, the book by Henry Blackaby. Right, Amanda? Number one, God is always at work. Number three, and God invites us to become involved with that work, in that work with him. So if we go back to creation, we see this from the very beginning. God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. How amazing is it that God includes us, that God invites us to join him in the work of his creation. Now, I'll be honest with you. I've got some things that mean a lot to me, and I don't want your help with them. Because I don't trust you. There's some stuff that still, my kids are 21 and 15, there's some stuff that still, don't touch that. Stay out of there. I don't want you around it. Because there's some stuff that Melissa comes around, I'm like, easy, easy. And yet the God of all things, the creator of everything, has invited you and I, knowing how clumsy we are. <laughs> knowing how clumsy we are. Knowing that we have a tendency to break everything we touch, and still he says, come on in, I'll fix it. I'll rework it. I'll redeem it. I just want you to join this with me. It doesn't have to be just the way you think it does. I just want you to be in the middle of it with me. Amen. And he does it with grace. And he does it with patience. And he does it with kindness. And maybe most of all, he does it with joy. Yeah. God does not need us for his work. But he wants us to be with him. And if he's always working, then being together with God means we have to join the work of God. I think we see this in Jesus' life so clearly. Jesus didn't just go and meet with the apostles from time to time, right? Jesus didn't invite them. He didn't, he didn't tell them, come join me at the synagogue every Saturday morning. Jesus didn't even tell them, join me for prayers every morning and every evening. Jesus met each of them and said this simple thing, follow me. Which didn't only mean walk with me, it meant come join me in my life. Have you noticed throughout the Gospels that the apostles were always with Jesus? When Jesus was healing the sick and setting the, the, the demon possessed free, the apostles were there. When he was preaching and teaching and praying, there were the apostles. When he was being opposed and rejected and threatened, the apostles were right there with him. Jesus didn't come so that we could visit with him a few times a day. And if that's true, then he certainly didn't come that we would visit with him a few times a week. But he came so that we would walk with him, so that we would listen to him and talk with him and join the work, that we would become partners in the work that he and the Father are always 